my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM22's The Hall of Fame. Our last episode is linked above, my friends, in case you want to go and watch that one before checking this one out. But today, it's FA Cup final day. Let's do it. So I thought what we would do before we jump into the cup final itself is see our road to the final. Um, as you can see, uh, it started with a 4-0 win against Sunderland really, really early on. Uh, then a 2-0 win against uh, Middlesbrough in the fourth round. A 3-0 against Barnsley. It was a pretty easy road, wasn't it, to the quarterfinals, to be fair, uh, in the fifth round. Then we go through against Manchester City on penalties. We beat Liverpool by four goals to two. And we now meet at Newcastle in the final of the FA Cup. So, yeah, I am buzzing for this one. I really, really am. Um, hoping we can get the victory. Because if we do then that means we do, basically, we won all the domestic uh, cups because we've already won a bunch of others and we secured the Premier League, obviously, last episode. Um, so I'm not going to hold off. I want to kind of get this game done and dusted, get the FA Cup over because um, I've got the season wrap-up to do after this. So I want to get it all done in one episode. So let's get on with this FA Cup final. So we're going to go with Gomez in goal, Raisha Hansic fullback, Cavell and Perez at centre-back. Got a few issues uh, with fitness and whatnot at centre at the, uh, in, in the defence. So yeah, a little bit of a worry. We're going to go Rice and Sabozla in the midfield, Sabanda and Wright at, uh, on the wings, Yaya through the middle and Medal up top. And so here we go. FA Cup final at Wembley. Let's see what we can muster, gang. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I really, really am. I'm a little bit worried about the team I've had to play. Cavell in at centre-back is not really uh, one I wanted to go with, but it is what it is. We've got issues with fitness and, um, you know, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. I forgot to rest the players going into the FA Cup and... You know, the Premier League, for me, was a little bit more important than the FA Cup. You know, it's a bit more reputable. It means more points as well towards the Hall of Fame. But um, it'd be great if we could win the FA Cup um, as well. It would be a really good season then. Free kicks of Bosley. It was a good free kick. Declan Rice going to uh, recycle. Yaya back to Rice. Cavell now. Lovely ball! First time effort, and it goes just wide of the mark. Not bad, but um, this is a good Newcastle team. I knew, I know we've blown them away this season, but they are a good team. They were hard to beat in the EFL Cup final, and I anticipate they're probably going to be pretty difficult to beat in this one as well. But statistically, we are on top, so that's something. Um, 20 minutes gone, and Cavell now picks up a yellow card. And um, he was the one I was a little worried about, I'm going to be honest. Um, not much happening. I don't want this to be another final where it's just a load of rubbish. As you can see, there's a bunch of games now being played in the Premier League. Um, yeah. Man City have gone on an absolute run at the end of the season. They've been very, very good. Very, very good. Um, come on, give us something. The FA Cup final. We were getting really hyped for this. <laughs> and now nothing's happening. <laughs> but why are we not surprised? Nearly at half time. And we've just seen that one effort. I've got a really itchy nose. It's probably really annoying seeing that. Me just keep scratching my nose. Um, okay, this has been boring. Whoa, Newcastle haven't registered a shot in that first half. Anyway... Let's um, tell them that I want a bit more in that second half. I've got a good team out there. Maybe going with Leif and Medal over Ashevedo was wrong. I'm not sure. I have really have no choice with all the energy levels. Still felt like this was a good enough team to kind of get the job done, but... Creating chances, just nothing to shout about. Nothing to, like, really get excited about yet, is there? Um, I'm going to bring Leaf and Medal. I haven't even got Ashvader on the bench. Anyway, we'll bring him off. Vinali will come on. And, yeah, there we go. Right, Newcastle, we were throwing into Angelo. Now, Bruno Gamirez, Ward Prowse. Passing it around quite well. Here we go. Come on. Get there. Get there. No. 
No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's good. It's actually pretty good from Newcastle to keep the ball alive. Oh, it's just over the bar. It's a proper chance, though. It is a proper chance. It's something to shout about. And it's their first shot of the game. Nearly an hour played in this cup final. And that's their first bloody shot. Wow. Uh, let's just do all of this business. Right, Cavell on the football. Into Rice. Who has it nicked off him? You've got to be better than that, Rice. Now it's into Trickar. He goes wide. Oh, it's all Newcastle. Oh, I think that's going to count. I think that's going to count. I think that's going to count. Second half has been Newcastle. And there you have it, Newcastle, 1-0 to the good. I am still going to make the changes. Hmm. Madal weren't playing well. I had, I had to bring him off. I know that... Vinali hasn't had much football, but oh, I was left with no choice. I think I've got this wrong. I think I've just oh, messed up somewhere. What to do, what to do, what to do. We'll drop rice in. There's the ball playing defender. Um, honest, I'm I'm literally just throwing players here and everywhere now. Yeah, we'll put Nikolov out there. That makes sense. Um, and then we'll go as an inside forward, maybe on attack. Yeah, we we literally throwing them everything at them. Throwing everything at them. We've got 10 minutes to go. We've kind of got to. They've FM'd us big time here. It's Again, it's not been a classic final, but they really have FM'd us here. Um... Ah, dearie, dearie me. It's not worked. Not worked. Usually throwing all those players at them with that formation works. Bowed me out loads this season, but it's not going to bow me out here where the FA Cup's concerned. And I've got that terribly wrong. I'm not invincible. It proves I'm not invincible, gang. I've had a few comments about, oh, I think it's a bit easy. I'm not invincible. And I do get it wrong as well. But, yeah. Congratulations, Newcastle. Deserved. Well, it weren't to be. I am bitterly disappointed at that. I'm going to be honest. Um, got a bit of prize money. I was very angry at the team. They were not good. But, yeah, I'm really, really annoyed that we haven't managed to do it. We haven't managed to win all the domestic cups. Um... I've got one more game to play against Leeds in the league. Um, I'm going to go away, play that, come back, do the season wrap up. Um, we'll forget about this FA Cup final because it's just going to eat away at me. But let's do the season wrap up and finish off what's been a marvellous season. And so here we go, gang. It's time for the season review. It's been an unbelievable season. I'll talk to you about the Leeds result in a moment. But let's just crack on and see how the season went down. Um, whoops, I always do that. It take, it take, for some reason, it takes a little bit of time to get to the new arrivals. So obviously, as we all know, we spent a load of money in the summer. And, uh, you know, here we go. This is kind of like looking at how they've all done. Um, I honestly, Dominic Sabozla and Novale have been very good. I know Garay hasn't played too much, but he's been good. 
Um, I think Jahiri, you know, for when he's played, he's done all right. I think Sabanda's been really good. Reich has been top-notch. Niklov's been great. Uh, Cavell, another one who has been really solid. And then Vanali and Ilicic, both those two not playing too much football. It is what it is, but, you know, I think the signings were pretty good. And it has been a season to remember. It really, really has. We won the Premier League once again. Uh, I'll show you the Leeds result at the end of the season. A 2-1 win. Really, really good stuff from us. Uh, so we completed a really good season. 96 points. We finished six points ahead of United in the end. Champions League, I think, was really good as well. We went out in that instant classic against Manchester City. Uh, it was unfortunate, basically, that they uh, grabbed the goals the way they did late on. Why that says... 5-3, that's not what the result was. It was 5-4. We won 5-4. That's really strange. Anyway, um, the Emirates FA Cup, uh, we obviously have just lost to Newcastle. Carabao Cup, we beat Newcastle. Really, they just exacted some revenge. Uh, and then we beat Manchester United by two goals to one in the Community Shield. So we, we won um, three of the five competitions. So not bad, not bad at all. Moments to remember, uh, a 5-0 against Brighton um, was the biggest win. The match to remember was the 1-0 against City. Uh, and then the goal of the season coming a 4-0 win against Aston Villa, where Madau uh, ran from his own half and scored a 24-yard shot. Pretty good. Uh, as you can see, we've grown from a continental to a worldwide reputable club now. So that is amazing. That's going to really help with signings. Um, the finances are a bit all over the place, but um, we really won't know where we're at with that until I sell the players I want to sell and, um, you know, stuff like that. And we balance the books. Um, we've done all right with the merchandise sales. So Boslight is the top shirt seller now, which is really, really surprising. Um, fans love him. Declan Rice, Sabanda, Medal, and Ashevedo were the others. And this is how the, basically they think we lined up the best this season. Um, I'm a bit surprised, I'm going to be honest, that Medal ousted in Sabanda at left wing. But maybe it's the goals that have done Sabanda because he scored a lot more goals than him. But I don't know. Gomez in goal. Raisha Perez, Alfonso Hanzic, Novale, Sabozlai. No Declan Rice either. That's really surprising, isn't it? But um, you'll see 14 assists and 13 goals from Sabozlai in the midfield. Double figures all here. 34 goals Ashevedo ended up with. Um, very, very good stuff from all the team. And then the accolades you're going to see. We won Manager of the Months, uh, Premier League Manager of the Year. Um, Johan Ashvedo was fans player of the season young player of the season Dominic suppose I got signing in the season goal of the season went to Leif Medal got a top goal scorer with 34 was Johan Ashvedo top assist with 14 was uh, Dominic Sabozlai uh, Johan Ashvedo got most player of the matches he also got highest average rating for the season David all got the most pass completion per 90 minutes Ashvedo's cleaned up he's been ridiculous 13 clean sheets in all competitions is a new record for Andre Gomez and West Ham. 11 player in the match is a new record. Dominic Sabozlai's uh, fee is a new highest fee paid. And Terrell Malasia's was a new highest fee received. The reason why that's higher than the ones that obviously were could go north of that is because that was all paid up front. And then, just to finish, history in the making. Your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch. Such feet didn't go unrewarded at the end of our season awards ceremony. Lovely job. So there is a few other things, obviously, we need to just go through. Club visions, um, are they adding anything? I don't think they are. I always just accept what they say anyway. And um, I'll do the team meeting when the game's all said and done. We've got all of our injuries. Um, Kabamba helped Celtic win the Premiership. That's really good. He made 33 appearances. What's he looking like now? Jeez, we're going to have to get him involved soon. He's looking so, so good. Top goal scorer, you'll see Johan Acevedo finish third. And he claims the English player's young player of the year. That is unbelievable. Absolutely love to see that. Uh, Gomez wins the Golden Glove. I've won the uh, manager of the year. Um, loads of players in the best 11. Um, these are just people I'm watching. <laughs> so uh, they're obviously clinching stuff. Nicholas Wright, obviously growing into a phenomenal looking player isn't he um now transfers i want to talk to you about something because um we've got a transfer that i am on the verge of potentially getting done he's been offered a contract it's an extortionate amount of money but i basically put yusufu makuku 
in my uh, shortlist the minute I got to West Ham. So what is that? Like two and a half, three seasons ago or whatever. And I just stuck him in the shortlist. And I thought, if ever we become a superpower, I'm going to go in and try and buy him. And he's asked to leave this summer. Um, he's asked to basically move on. I don't know if Dortmund have done well. They finished third. So I don't know how far off they were. Quite a distance off. They finished third. Um, so he's asked to leave, basically. And so I've gone in with a bid of 45 million up front. And then with the add-ons, it'll go to 75 million. Um, 210 grand a week. And I've basically jumped in there now. And I'm just hoping that the other clubs are not going to jump on. What if we could get Makuku in the door for next season? That would be incredible, wouldn't it? But look at the teams that are circling. I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm going to be honest. I am a little bit worried about that. Um, I've, obviously, there's some stuff going on here. Players that are going to join us. Players that are going out. There's loads of stuff already in the works. But as far as the squad's concerned, I don't know what I'm going to do this season. I actually feel like the team is pretty good. I keep saying we're a striker away from demolishing teams. Um, and then, I don't know, I, I, just, I don't really know where the team can be improved. I just guess that if someone better becomes available than what we've got, or if players end up wanting to leave and I need to replace them, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, there's no real need to buy and sell at the minute, but Makuku is just too good to be true. I want to get that done because he's just a phenomenal looking player. So I think he would be incredible in this team. So um, yeah, we'll see. I, I don't really want to talk about transfers because not really too much to say. This is how the competition's obviously all finished. The Premier League, as you've already seen. And the last thing I wanted to show you is, of course, the Hall of Fame because um, I've finally made it onto a list, but I'm only I've still only got 779 points. This is ridiculous. Um, England was it England? No, I don't know where it was. I don't know what part I I made it in. It did say that. There we go. English. Ninth, there you go, 779 points, at least we're in one, we can see all of our stuff we've done now though, the one to Pico Bundesliga, the one uh, uh, two Liga, the, the Liga 2 in um, with uh, Polytechnica, we've got the EFL Cup, we've got an FA Community Shield, we've got two Premier Leagues, a Europa Conference League and one uh, Incasa, uh, Incaso Deli Cala, it's unbelievable, you know, I just forget that we manage these other clubs because we've been at West Ham and we're now tasting all the success but it's been top notch once again and so there you have my friends we're done and dusted for another episode of the Hall of Fame I do hope you enjoyed it my friends uh, feel free to like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and enjoying the series but I will be back for a new season real real soon um, transfer window episode probably the community shield We'll see. I'll see you next episode, my friends. But until then, saluting you all. Stay safe. Stay humble. See you later.